Uh, let's see what else have I done? Uh, I I recent not recently I guess like over the last month and a half have been playing Hell things yeah. just kind of on and off because I have the yeah I because I have the Switch version so I just kind of play like one run every here and there like if I go over to uh, my girlfriend's house or if I'm waiting on something and uh, so I recently beat it for the first time I'm not sure if I necessarily have the drive to do it an additional ten times. Like, I don't really have too much to play on my Switch mm-hmm. anyway, aside from maybe the uh, the 3D mm-hmm. Mario collection. And I'm, I'm like halfway through Sunshine. Um, but so, yeah, I guess I'll basically be my go to Switch game if I ever leave the house, which aside from work, yeah. I basically don't. So that's that's going to be on the back burner. But I think like just the core uh, gameplay and the way that you're constantly getting new boons and combinations like no one run mm-hmm. is exactly the same. Uh, keeps it really fresh and it's mm. just a good action game. I, I think like my only minor complaint would be um, because it's isometric and that the camera is pulled back. Sometimes it's hard to read an enemy's movements oh, when they're about chaos. to attack, yeah. especially. Yeah, especially if you have a weapon where you're constantly like having a mash with like the sword or something like that, and that makes it a lot harder. Versus if you're using the bow, you can easily see like if someone's yeah. telegraphing yeah. that they're about to strike. But uh, I, I know you've played it a lot. Um, yeah, I, I true ended it. I, I I beat it ten times, um, and then and then did one more for fun. Ten times <laughs> to cap it off. The game, I anyone who's like played a ton, a ton of Hades will tell you this: the first time you beat it is the hardest part. After that, it gets exponentially easier the more you play. It's it's very interesting. Um, it and it really is like best in class when it comes to like the 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 combat. It's like years and years of them honing everything that they know from Bastion to Transistor and Pyre to kind of put everything together. And that's always been like the best part of Hades for me. It's like okay, I've liked those games, I've played those games, but Hades is different i don't like roguelike games but yeah neither do i for i just like that this is a roguelike where there is not just like combat and stuff and loot progression like you keep your levels or powers or ability to get better things but there's story progression each death matters in terms of the story to some degree it's like oh hey this character knows how I died and they're making fun of me for it. Or, hey, I killed them in my last run and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like can that I, kind of stuff. Can I just I, very quickly say, so I'm, I've been playing Hades. I, I don't want, I was going to say that mid going to make me sound like a hipster. I've been playing Hades since there was only like 10 floors to it when they like yeah. announced it at the game awards. Yeah. Cause I have, I am in my DNA. I'm contractually obligated to buy everything that Supergiant Games does. Because I love everything that Super Giant Games does. Like I beat mm-hmm. Bastion multiple times. I beat Transistor once, and then I beat it again when like everything is like ten times harder. Mm-hmm. I love Pyre with all of my heart and soul. Like I adore that company. And the one thing I'm hoping that Hades does, because I know there are people who play who are playing Hades who have never played any of their older games. My only hope is that the people who play Hades who have never played any of the other work get their other work. Because it is constantly on sale, I, almost it's it's like available everywhere. Just I want people to give Super I think I'm games more of a in, shot with their other work, especially Pyre. No one fucking touched Pyre. Yeah, no, no, no. I got and this. Pyre I got this. Fucking Hades, intense. I love it. Hades is so good. It's gonna make Pyre not a bomb. <laughs> I really well, because that's the thing. Was Pyre wasn't bad. Just no one played it. Pyre wasn't like, bad, but it they did not land. Basketball, and they're like, what? <laughs> None. Yeah, I think I'm probably the perfect uh, test case for what you mentioned, Sarah, is that um, I did play a little bit of Transistor because it was one of those early ish uh, PlayStation Plus games, but I I never I never. (laughs) Yeah, I never I never stuck with this. I think this is this is giving me an incentive to go back and and try all those other games. I, I, I will say the only two detractions I really have from Hades is that um. I guess one serious one, not so serious. The serious one would be um, 
I was probably a little bit let down by the talk about the story. I feel like it's a little bit more ch- uh, like character charm versus overall narrative, but that can just be down to different tastes. And it's a very postmodern take on story where, you know, it, it's not a linear thing. It's like this, it's, it's very re- reliant on the fact that it is a roguelike and that's interesting within its own rights. And then the, I guess not so serious detraction would be, uh, there was a lot of talk as the game was coming out, everyone's like, oh my god, all the characters they, in this game are They really are, hot. though. Like, um, like fucking Zagreus I, fucking I disagree. Like- I, Zagreus is, but like everyone else, I'm just like, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't think the the amount of praise it got for Maximum Horniness oh, was necessarily all there. So, the narrative part that you're talking about, it honestly starts after you beat the game for the first time. That's when you're going to see, like, the main narrative start okay. popping up. Like, each time you finish a run, there's extra pieces going on there. So there's extra there. I ran into that issue, too, because it took me longer to beat Hades than other people. So I was like, what the hell? What the hell? This seems the same. And I think the story isn't advancing. I thought it was blah, blah, blah. And then I beat it. I was like, oh, man, I did it. Cool. I can stop playing the game now, right? It's like, my thought process is, oh, you beat a roguelike, you're done with it. Like, I beat FTL. Cool. Done. Right? And then they're like, nah, you gotta keep going. I'm like, but that was really hard. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I feel less incentivized to do the extra, I guess, like, nine playthroughs now that I've beaten it. But I'll probably just wind up doing it over time. Just not necessarily in a rush, I guess. 